Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay. Today I want to talk about a little piece of gear I just picked up in the percussion revolver. Now I went online and I got to look, I'm sorry about the wind noise guys, and I found one of these little stars. And I found a thing on Amazon, I'm sorry I don't know the site, but just look for 3D printed capper. That's what I did. And these popped up. And I got four of these for $15 from this individual. And uh, all they are is a 3D printed little star with a split and a place to hold a percussion cap. Thus far, I've been very happy with them. Because you take your percussion cap and putting the solid back in into the hole, you press it in like that. Now you simply press it onto and pull it off, and the two lips will open up and let it go onto the nipple. Now, I've tried it on a Remington, it worked. I tried it on a Colt, it worked. And now we're going to see about capping a river little army. Now, all you're going to do is make sure I can get you in there. Is you're going to line up the nipple as normal you're going to take that point and push it in there when you do you can put your thumb back here behind it and shove it up in there tight and then just kind of pull off like that and there is your cap you can also take it and push it sideways to seat it good and tight if you want to and thus you are capped now where this is going to be very handy is i'm thinking about making up a little bitty pouch where i can slide them in there and so that's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a full cylinder. And since there is one, two, three, four of those, six times four, 24 shots, you know, that's gonna be, I'm gonna have my uh, paper cartridges and I'll have these in a little pouch right beside it so I can just pull it out and cap. So as I'm hunting or whatever, bang, I ain't got to dish out a thing of caps or whatever. And I've been using that inline capper that you've seen in some of my earlier videos. But this is quick and handy. I even thought about possibly drilling a hole in the very middle so I could wear it around my neck on like a star, you know. Just put a some sort of connector to it so I could pull it off and rotate it around and snap. I'll experiment with that. Not completely done with it yet. But I tell you, this is a pretty innovative little idea. Quick and easy. So, it works on a Remington, it works on a Colt and all the clones of it, and it works on the Ruger Old Army. That's pretty handy. That way I can set up these cappers and have them already gone, set up, and just pull them out and use it for paper cartridges, for my Dixie tubes that I carry in the field. Very quick and handy to have some reload. And it's easy to reload this. So I could also carry the tin of caps. So if I just wanted to wear one around my neck while I'm hunting, so you know, it's not that fast. You shoot one or two quick on a bunny or whatever, and you're gonna reload. I've got time to stop and recharge this for the next run. You know, after I've shot three or four times, okay, I'm getting down just two caps. I got a rest moment, reload my caps, hang it back around my neck, and I've got a reloader on the field for hunting. Pretty good piece of gear. So if you've been asking about these and you've seen these, Blackie says, yes, thus far, my experience has been, it's a good piece of kit. How long will the plastic hold up? That I don't know. I've only been using these three or four months now. Uh, I've used them in a bunch of rain sessions and on one hunting trip before the season ended. So with any luck, I'll be using these again. And after a year, I'll give you an update, see how they hold up. Hope you uh, enjoyed this video, guys. Please do me a favor and hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you leave. And until next time, I'm Blackie, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.